Hi, it's Tuesday the 26th of May 2020 and it's another extremely powerful day today. So today we are on this portal day, see the blue tap there? It's white mirror day and it's white rhythmic mirror day. So it's day six of creating heaven on earth. And we've got the sun in Gemini and we've got the moon in waxing Cancer. And the planet today is Neptune. White mirror is the 18th Mayan sign. It's the sword of truth. So today we are going to be seeing what's reflected back in the world that creates heaven for us and what doesn't. So what does to expand and what doesn't to release through heart healing and making new choices and new ways of living. Cancer 18 degrees, a black child playing with a tiger, super sensitized to the play of opposites in every sphere of existence swept up in gender karmas, ancestral karmas, and heaps of collective karma. You play out each and every side in action, in imagination, and in suggestion. Electrified by the drama, the colour, the spectacle, the karmic theatre production right in your living room, you are astounded by how it goes. Attached to everything, personally implicated everywhere, feeling responsible and highly susceptible to guilt, shame, and severe self-doubt mind and emotion swirling one into the other. Interpretations, evaluations, explanations, crises and breakthrough. Identified with the sheer power of the crossfire, being right, being wrong, who is to blame and who knew what all along. A chant, a Greek chorus, an incantation of how everybody has felt about these things forever. Dreaming into the role, perfect for the part, each and every line spoken with conviction. Very powerful day with what's going on in the starry skies as well. Again, totally love the synchro, blown away when you look at the astrology, how it all comes together to, say, to tell the astral story. So I'm reading from Transcendental Karmic Astrology who is on Facebook, check them out. Complex planetary picture. Today's energy patterns are quite intense and karmic. So let's see the participants. Pluto retrograde in Capricorn is making a bi-directional in conjunct with Hygieia in Gemini. And the asteroid of sacred spaces may help you to induce the transformative processes that cannot be postponed any longer. What's more, Hygieia is turning this year's main karmic astrological aspect, the Pluto Eris Cardinal Square, into a little engine providing both drive and energy. In the meantime, another in conjunct is forming with the Mercury Vesta conjunction in Gemini, focusing on words and ideas, and Jupiter retrograde in Capricorn. Jupiter enlarges and amplifies everything it touches while Mercury is filling the space-time moment with logic and meaning. The two in conjuncts are joined by the mars Ceres conjunction in Pisces and Uranus in Taurus, and the resulting complex planetary picture is providing multiple interesting potential in the next few days. So lots happening on the world stage. The most important focus is on ourselves though, because we have to work with our own personal patterns and our code. And just to sum up how I see what is happening today, Pluto Erinus is again our shadow around our discontented fairy. All the times when we have been on the receiving end of something that's really made us angry, frustrated, and that's coming into a replay. So Mexicans stand off in terms of Cardinal Square. So lots of drive, lots of energy around that. And ideally, if we can heal that, then we don't carry it on 
if we do the ego dance, then it just creates more wounding, basically. So make good choices. Um, in terms of Mercury Vesta conjunction, again, an in conjunct is a tension. It's something that we have to resolve really to go deeper. So again, remember today is the sword of truth. It's letting go of delusions and illusions that we're holding on to so we can step into a clear space. It's a portal day, so it's a human evolution day. It's a day of clear sign. So it's what we need to get clear of to stop this keep being reflected back at us in the world until we get it, until we personally, I, make the change. And so going over old ground, mastery around discipline, Jupiter retrograde in Capricorn, mastery around practical, functional, good, grounded steps today. And this can often be hard to do when we've got a lot of emotional stuff coming up. And so we've also got um, Pisces energy going on, which can be Christ consciousness, what's coming to light around that. And so again, compassion as well, and being able to come into that space of love and center is really key at the moment because there's so much happening on the world stage and in our own personal lives. And this has to be addressed now on a personal level. The personal creates the collective in terms of human beings. So each person doing their own journey now. So lots of love and I hope you have an amazing day of mirrors, reflections, and becoming more and more empowered by healing our discontented fairy. Lots of love. Bye for now.